Salute, salute. Was Pastor Keon Henderson wrong for hushing the woman in his congregation? There's a viral video going around. Let's discuss it. This is something you don't want to miss. See you there. Hey, cue that theme music. Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all my day ones. Salute to the new subscribers. You know, if you're just not coming in and discovering my platform, please do not hesitate to wipe your feet on my welcome mat. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Notification bell. Share these videos. Share the experience. Okay? Trolls. <laughs> Only God and your mama and only a select few, maybe some UPS drivers could love you, you know, but uh, embrace it. At least somebody does. And uh, last but not least, last but not least, last but certainly not least. All right. Put them up, y'all. You know what time it is? One time. Yeah, yeah. I say one time. Yeah, yeah. I say one time. One time for the Uncut Squad, baby. One time for Gifted Family. One time for Big Bro's Corner, Big Bro's Backup. One time for God, the most high, the real MVP, the savior of everything. And two salutes to the G-O-D. We going in. This particular video, when my mom told me about it, I could not wait to give my take on it. A, this is what I was called to do, okay? And so it's like returning home for me. And B, well, this is a great example of what I was trying to say in prior videos about churching, about churching. So we have um, trending is Pastor Keon Henderson, who is the husband of the ex-wife of Shaquille O'Neal, Shawnee. So this is uh, Shawnee Henderson's new husband, okay, in her second marriage. And um, well, he was trending this weekend because i'll let y'all hear it this is off of uh the tamron hall show on youtube i'm gonna go in here and wipe my feet on the welcome mat you know and uh y'all go subscribe as well pastor keon henderson sets the record straight after viral hushing church incident lots of people judge this guy and when i first heard this this morning the first thing i said to my mother was he was not wrong he was setting order in the church. He was setting order. Here we go. I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I just did. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward. Fast forward. <laughs> I mean, as a first nurse, you know. <laughs> I found him. You know, I, he's just so amazing. And honestly, he's relatable, right? It wasn't, you know, think being with a pastor, you're like, okay, is he about to... Like, is you know, he going to have to go get long skirts all the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to embrace this culture faith world, right? Because it's like the faith world, the culture world feels like the faith world keeps them out. And then, yeah. you know, it's like this thing, but he embraces it. He allows me to be, be who I am in the space. Uh, and I'm always going to respect him and support him. Can and, we meet him? Oh, I'd love to. All right. Yeah. 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 Your beautiful first lady is. I'm on my social media. My cousin lives in Houston, and Katie, she says, 
Dr. Keon is trending. I was like, what happened? Right. She said, go on the shade room. I said, the shade room? Let me play this moment. Let's play it. Now, let me stop right there for a minute. See, women have so much power and authority in the church because these so-called men of God grant them this authority in these church homes to where these women forget about God's divine order. Not all, some. Now, when I first saw this clip, I was like, you know, we don't know how long this has been going on. But obviously, this is a distraction. This is a distraction. If you are hooping and hollering every Sunday around the same time, that's not the spirit. That is a distraction. Now, most people got offended because this pastor snapped his fingers. Okay. But he snapped his fingers as if to say, hey, come out of it. Hey, stop. Hey, snap out of it. You know, it was to get her attention. It wasn't to disrespect her. You know, we all has raised we all have raised children. At some point you snatch your finger that shut hey, hey, stop that. Hey, hey, get over here. You know, we've all have done that. We cannot get mad at this pastor, Keon Henderson, for upholding God's divine order. God said in Genesis one twenty seven, Come let us make image in our man in our like in our likeness. And then it also says that they went on to make man in their image and their likeness. Then he says, man and woman, he also made them. Meaning that he gave man that governing authority over woman. As long as his leadership is appropriate and aligned with God, you know, he's the head, she's the tail. And this is why they say women should not be permitted to speak in church. All right. This pastor was not wrong for setting order in God's house. Now, let's hear his take. Well, don't man me. <laughs> I always tell people, a snippet of video is not the total story. So tell me what happened there. Well, you know, social media is in to cuts in our context. Yeah. Uh, and every suggestion that I got from every naysayer, I've already done. This is a four-year battle, right? Oh, this is ongoing. This is ongoing. So I've already Here. talked to her personally. I'd already had ushers go up to her. I've already had prayer warriors. I've had everything. So she did it publicly after being asked not to. What is she? Is she crying? Is an emotional? Well, you know, as a pastor, I know the difference between disturbance and worship. And what people have to understand, I see. what people have to understand is that every time you hear a noise in church, it isn't worship. I see. And uh, so there has to be order. For instance, it's okay to applaud in this room right now. But if somebody got up and just started clapping right now, I'm sure somebody would bring order to the room. Yeah. And so what I did is I brought order to the room so people could hear God and not hurt. And I'll do it again if I needed to. I'll say. I'll say. I'll say. I'll say. Okay. See, everyone gets mad at this man because he restored order because he checked her. She was not in the spirit. Oh, he didn't have to embarrass her like that. She didn't have to embarrass herself. He just said this has been an ongoing battle with her for four years. So for four years, there's people in the comment section of some of these videos that actually attends this church who's testifying that this lady has been doing this for four years. And it's always at the same time every Sunday. Every Sunday. I've been to many churches where there's always someone who stands up at the same time. Either they're going to shout, run through the church, or they're going to dance around and jump, or they're going to pretend to speak in tongue. I've heard people say honey bun, peanut butter, and a plastic fork speaking in tongue in church. At least that's what it sounded like to me. At least that's what it sounded like to me. Honey bun, some peanut butter, plastic fork. Yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. You know? So he was not wrong. He was not wrong. Hey, you're being a distraction. What he should have did was stop in the middle of the pulpit. And I'm doing this jokingly, okay, jokingly. But what he should have did was turn around and say, Hey, woman, hell that got up into you on my stage. What the hell that got up into you? We trying to cast demons out, not let them in. Could you please exit the church, deal with your demons, then re-enter? 
Because evidently whatever we doing in here is not enough to cast whatever that is in you that makes you want to be a distraction every Sunday out of you. You know, that's what he should have done. The hell done got into you, woman. You know, honestly, this is a distraction. And again, this is why I say, and he said it too, every noise that you hear in church is not worship. You don't know what these people are doing. You don't know what spirits they have upon them. But the only thing that you have in common is that you believe both of you are here to praise your higher power. Truth is, you don't know who they are there to praise. You don't know what their agenda is. You only know what you came to do. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. We all come on. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Exactly. I don't know what they come to do. But I come to praise the Lord. And while we own this, let me say something. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who be like, man, is that a closet you in? This is my sanctuary. This is my sanctuary. No, it's not a closet. You know what I'm saying? It's a little piece underneath my stairwell, you know, that I embrace. You know, we ain't going to act like your grandma, your great grandma, even some of y'all mamas didn't have a spare room, a closet or a pantry, something they can go in and just cry out to God, praying, meditating and thinking. OK, this is my sanctuary. This is my spiritual sanctuary right here. OK, so we ain't up in the closet. No, we ain't up in the closet. This is a spiritual sanctuary right here. This is where I grow and meditate. OK. Yes, yes, sir. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We all don't heard that spiritual. Come on in my room. Well, come on in my room. Yeah, I'm in my room. I done came on in my room. Y'all better get in y'all room. But anyways, was this pastor wrong? Do y'all think this pastor was wrong? I in no way, shape, or form think this pastor was wrong. But tell the sister, hey, snap out of it, stop her, her hush. We don't have this conversation. Now, if she's still on the stage this coming Sunday, then you restore this order in your church. All for nothing. Because it seems like this sister's going to figure out every single way in every single fashion to be a disturbance or a distraction in your church. So... Is this sister filled with demons? Does this sister have an agenda? What's this pastor wrong? Y'all let me know how y'all feel, you know? And y'all remember, come on in my room. Well, come on in my room. Y'all don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. There's only one God, no matter what you call him, no matter what you believe, no matter what you classify him as. There's only one God. There's only one Savior. Y'all stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. Be of order. Salute. To Pastor Keon Henderson. Hey, hush, snap out of it. Ashe. Come on in the room. <laughs> Come on.